In an ideal world, powered by a large mix of weather-dependent renewable energy sources, we need reliable and cheap storage solutions. And ironically, a technology 137 years old is currently revolutionizing energy storage technology. We are talking about the battery being completely liquid inside. In fact, the Redox Flow battery is probably the most promising technology for industrial-scale battery parks as well as for private individuals with solar roofs. Institutions and universities all around the globe are reporting about new breakthroughs, and several companies like Redflow, Gelion, Volt Storage, and many more have already recognized the advantages of the batteries. The Redox Flow battery has decisive advantages over lithium batteries. They are non-flammable, easily recyclable, and incredibly long-lasting. Even after 10,000 to 20,000 cycles or more than a decade of continuous use, it retains 100% of its storage capacity. Moreover, it is cheap to produce, enables a faster and more cost-effective recharge, and contains no heavy metals or hazardous materials, making them an ideal eco-friendly alternative to lithium-ion batteries. However, not all flow batteries are equal. There are significant differences in cell chemistry and different approaches. So what is the liquid battery all about? In this video, we're going to take a look at how the Redox flow battery works, the current state of the art, and a look at different companies with different approaches and how the battery is going to change the world. Lithium-ion batteries are widely used globally due to their high energy density, long lifespan, and fast charging capabilities. However, the increasing demand for electric vehicles and large-scale battery parks has led to a massive surge in lithium and rare earth mineral demand, resulting in significant recycling problems. Lithium-ion batteries are extremely difficult to recycle because they contain a combination of metals, polymers, and electrolytes that need to be separated and treated properly. The very small cell size, however, makes it a really complex and difficult process. Additionally, lithium-ion batteries can contain toxic substances that can be very harmful if not disposed of properly. Big tech companies like Apple, Volkswagen, BMW, and Tesla are already working to solve this problem. Apart from the fact that lithium mining is often criticized for environmental issues, there is also an economic aspect that should prompt us to replace lithium batteries whenever possible. Lithium and rare earth minerals have become more expensive due to the high demand, which actually hinders the energy transition by making it extremely costly. It is a huge problem that affects our entire power grid infrastructure as well as private individuals looking for affordable energy storage solutions. Of course, solar power needs to be available at night, and wind power needs to be available when the wind isn't blowing. Using lithium batteries for this purpose is currently simply not economical. This is where the technology patented 137 years ago comes into play. A battery entirely liquid inside. The first discovery of the Redox Flow battery is dated back to 1878. It is a rechargeable battery that generates electricity by the chemical reaction of two liquid electrolytes stored in external tanks. The two electrolytes, separated by a membrane, flow into a reaction chamber where they generate an electrical current by exchanging ions through the membrane. RFBs work on the principle of Redox reaction a chemical reaction based on reduction and oxidation, which basically means the transfer of electrons between two chemical species. One electrolyte contains a positive ion that is reduced and gains an electron. In contrast, the other electrolyte contains a negative ion that is oxidized and loses an electron when the battery is charged. During discharge, the reverse reaction occurs and the electrons flow through an external circuit producing usable electrical energy. Depending on the chemistry and the electrolytes used, the efficiency is well above 80%. The ingenious thing about the technology, however, is that the possible performance and capacity are separately variable and scalable. 
The size of the membrane determines the power of the battery system. The capacity, on the other hand, is not limited by the size of the electrodes or the amount of active materials. Instead, the energy storage capacity can be increased by simply adding more liquid electrolytes to the tanks. Thus, a storage capacity of several megawatts is easily achievable and makes RFBs particularly well suited for large-scale grid storage. The only disadvantage is the lower energy density. But for stationary batteries, this doesn't really matter. It all comes down to price, efficiency, and durability. So far, there are more than 60 different scientifically approved redox flow battery systems, but only a few are considered to be commercially viable or have been commercialized. The Australian company Redflow introduced their new zinc bromine battery, which according to the company, holds the world record for the most compact modular redox flow battery system in the entire market. Redflow was founded in Brisbane, Australia in 2004 by Philip Livingston. Their ZBM3 battery uses an innovative electrochemical process that provides higher energy efficiency at lower discharge rates, making it more economical than conventional batteries. It is capable of maintaining the voltage evenly and reliably over longer time periods without self-discharging. Thus, they can be left at a 100% state of charge for months and started up rapidly. Thanks to the zinc bromine chemistry, the battery contains 100% of its storage capacity for the entire battery lifetime, whereas lithium battery efficiency degrades over time. And Redflow offers a guaranteed lifetime of an incredible 10 years, while the battery easily exceeds those expectations. The Redflow battery is also very safe and poses no risk of fire. Altogether, the Redflow battery is perfectly suitable as a grid storage solution, and a total of 3,000 megawatt hours has been installed to date. The largest flow battery system yet, with 12 energy pods and 2 megawatt hours capacity, was delivered to a bioenergy facility in San Bernardino, California. A case study conducted in Melbourne, Australia, revealed that the Red Flow battery system, coupled with a photovoltaic system installed in a children's center, resulted in a remarkable 75% reduction in energy costs during the winter season, resulting in an estimated total annual savings of $220,000 to $240,000. However, Red Flow's ZBM3 batteries is still expensive with a price range of $1,500 to $2,500 per kilowatt hour compared to $150 to $450 per kilowatt hour for lithium ion batteries. Gel Ion, another Australian company, has also continued to research flow batteries and has introduced an even smaller zinc bromine solution. Gel Ion's zinc bromine battery system is a cost-effective solution for solar systems based on the same technological principles as the Redflow battery, with the sheer difference that Gel Ion uses a patented electrode gel layer. The electrode's large surface area improves electric conductivity, allowing the permeation of the electrolyte for the bromide reaction. This creates highly efficient chemical and electrical energy conversion allowing Gel Ion's zinc bromine battery an excellent performance at a reasonable price of $500 per kilowatt hour. But there are also other innovations coming from Germany, where the energy transition is currently in full swing. A spin-off company, Voltarian, expressly emphasizes a service life of a whopping 20 years with minimal maintenance. And particularly interesting is the startup called Volt Storage they already have a commercially available redox flow battery system based on vanadium. The system has a maximum storage capacity of 6.8 kilowatt hours per block and costs 7,500 euros at a typical price of seven to $9,000 for a common lithium battery system with six kilowatt hours of storage capacity. This is a decent notable competitor. Volt storage was only able to lower the price per kilowatt hour to 1,000 euros and eliminate various intermediaries through a special now patented manufacturing process. However, the price of the technology will continue to fall due to the economy of scale. 
especially since vanadium is subject to very strong price fluctuations, and other electrolyte solutions such as zinc bromine are more promising. Ironically, although redox flow concept is over 130 years old, the technology is still in its infancy. We are already in contact with some redox flow battery companies. Other solutions for private users that are also significantly more economical will soon come onto the market. Of course, we will report extensively about these systems. So subscribe to this channel and don't miss any of the new videos. In the meanwhile, check out the best portable power station available in 2023, which is able to power an entire family home with a backup capacity of 30 days. It is the most affordable power station in the market with the best price performance ratio.